Syria, West Papua, our neighbours who are striving for their sovereignty <coughs> and they are being mown down by the weapons that Boeing exports to Indonesia. Boeing armed genocide, members. Boeing armed genocide. genocide. You must know that Boeing made the Apache helicopter, which was used in the collateral murder video. <coughs> you must know that. It makes nuclear warheads, missiles, autonomous combat drones. Boeing arms genocide. Boeing, Boeing arms, arms genocide. genocide. Why is it here? in this hallowed halls of academia. Why it, possibly even someone's here, a representative around the table? Well, I know why, we know why, because you've been seduced, by financially seduced. But Boeing's money is dirty. Boeing's money has blood on it. Please don't be seduced. This is a place of learning of life giving, of imagination. Boeing is striving. It will poach the best engineering minds that you have with lucrative offers of, of lucrative Christian careers. I don't think we should be Boeing funds genocide. Boeing funds genocide. genocide. I call on you, Senators, Could you please. please not photograph anyone in this room? We've been very polite you have. in listening to you. you have indeed. Yes. Thank you very please, much. Please examine your consciences. Please ask Boeing from this campus. Boeing has no place in education. It has no place. You are using the young students to be fodder. And they'll be spat out. And yes, you have listened. What we know is that the University of Queensland has a mission statement. Hang, hang on a minute. What hang we know is that you have a better world and the public good inside your mission statement. But what we know is that Boeing is a weapons company. You have it in the centre of this institution and there's nothing about it that creates a better good and there's nothing about it that creates the public good or a better world. And you know that. And yet you have invited them there. There are people here who have facilitated that, who have enabled a weapons company to be in the centre of your business. Now, we know that there's 30 billion a year being spread out with great largesse by our government. We've had that fossil fuel money come through the universities and now we have weapons money. Now, we want to know, me, is that what we want here? Would you not film, please? We can film. This woman film me. It's bad luck. That's where it's a place of life being. And we are making sure that everybody knows that Boeing is a weapons company. Yeah. Boeing is a weapons company. We're in the middle of the library crisis. It's 2030, there's going to be one out of the building of refugees. Oh, it's this and you're funding war and genocide and murder. Boeing is taking advantage of this university to launder its reputation. You must know that. Boeing is taking advantage of this university to launder its reputation. You must know that. This is no longer a university. It's been hollowed out. It's been hollowed out. It's time to get another job. Plenty of caring and plenty of jobs that are needed without funding war and genocide and murder. We need earth care, not warfare. 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 You need to be funding the solutions to the climate crisis, not profiteering from the destruction of our habitat in our home. Because you have an institute here, the Boeing Research Institute, what that does is make normal the idea of warfare, which is a shameful thing. A shameful thing in a university. And that, that means that you can make that normal, you can make it very normal for young people to be seduced into jobs in the weapons industry, to make weapons that kill, because that's what Boeing does. They make weapons that kill. You Boeing, must know this. Boeing makes weapons that kill. The Boeing Institute is a shame for this university because it doesn't show the causelessness of Boeing, which is producing weapons of death and destruction. In the Boeing Institute, there's only images of the civilian product. 
that the core business of Boeing as one of the largest global weapons producers is things like the Apache attack helicopter, which is used for genocide in West Papua, in a neighboring country, in Palestine, and in Yemen. Boeing tries to launder its reputation by linking up with UQ, but what it does is sully the name of this education institution. We want you to educate, not working on extermination. Boeing arms genocide. Boeing arms genocide! Um, I was a student and a worker here in the 70s in the University of Queensland. I started off working in the computer centre, which was a very big mainframe computer in those days. Um, and I was given permission to study and I did time off study. No cost. So I did a degree here. Um, and well, in those days, this was the 70s, where the students were demonstrating on this campus against the Vietnam War. And I was given time off work to attend demonstrations. That's the sort of university that I went to in the 70s. I wonder if that sort of would still be happening today in this university. Because when I walk around here now, I see a very sterile university. When I was here as a younger person, there, were, there was action, there was things happening. The student union was very active on pursuing all sorts of social justice issues. What do they do now? for war, it has an institute here that you have an arrangement with and it's making normal the idea of this shameful, this shameful business of war that Boeing makes its money from. The money that you're receiving from Boeing is blood money and this means there is blood on your hands as well. Not to mention that you destroy the future of the peaceful society we all want to live in. Because Boeing arms genocide. Boeing arms genocide. Don't forget your privilege in being able to walk away. Unlike the people in Palestine who are at the other end of the Boeing bombs. Unlike the people in the Papua who are at the other end of the Boeing bombs. Boeing are making jet fighters. They're making AI jet fighters in this very building. They're making, or this other building, they're making hypersonic missiles. Hypersonic missiles go around corners so they can blow them up. Ethics, morality, choices. This is not for a better world. This is not for the common good. 
not for the oh, common it's good. It's a weapons industry. It's the third biggest weapons industry in the world. Stop. The third biggest weapons yeah. company in the world. Stop infiltrating. Stop infiltrating this university. Stop bastardizing. We need education, not genocide. Education, not, not genocide. genocide. People can't walk away from the genocide bombing in flicks. Why don't you make a nice picture of his eyes? Should we get to the UQ dice? It's a bit small, isn't it? It's a nice picture, yeah. Just a picture here with everyone who's awesome. So you've been asked to leave? Yeah. We're just taking a photo, mate. Yeah, we're actually taking a photo. Can I see that one at the back, please, a bit better? Thanks. Just be quiet and nicely, yeah. Thank you. Keep <laughs> walking in front of it this time. Yeah, that's just nice. Keep it up high. Awesome, everybody. Margaret, you want to get my ear in here, right? Do you want to take on the unit? What's that? Do you want to take on the unit? No. Let's go. The Senate have left the building, and I think we're going to leave the room as well. Senate chamber. That is our folder. That is our folder. Is that? No, we're leaving it there. No, leave the folder. That's not one of us. That belongs here, doesn't it? Dave, that bag. Um, That's not ours, ours, is it? Yeah. Not ours. I hope you know that going out of Jackson. Yeah, so we'd we'll make a different choice. Because I'm pretty sure most of you have got morals and ethics. Can you leave the building in the outside? Thank you. Thank you. Make Thank, a you choice. Thank you very much. We are choosing to Senate, you the University of Queensland.
Then they started dropping bombs from B-52 bombers indiscriminately on neighbourhoods in Baghdad. This is what a Boeing bomber was used for by the United States military in the invasion of Iraq. Boeing doesn't have any scruples about who it sells to. It sells to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is known for its gross human rights abuses, um, weekly executions, war on Yemen. Um, the war on Yemen, waging out use of war. Um, they also sell to the Israeli military. Again, the Israeli military have absolutely no scruples. They use it on Palestinians quite regularly, quite openly. Um, they also sell them to the Indonesian military, who wages, has waged a 50 year genocide on West Papua people. That's what's happened. They've eroded education funding and healthcare funding and putting into killing people. And that's what everyone out there is in the business of doing. I'm pretty sure that this, the infiltration of weapons companies into the educational system is a global strategic campaign by corporations. It's starting in primary school and now in secondary and now in tertiary education. It is the repurposing of institutions that are meant to enhance our society, to be positive, to be life-giving to our younger generation. But this is insidious. It comes under the guise of cutting-edge technology, of sponsorships, and yet all, all the time it is seeking to undermine people's ability to make decisions, to choose life, to use their skills. It's abominable. I'm pretty sure those people up there in the Senate, sitting on that Senate committee, know exactly what's going on. They know what's being lost in this arrangement with the Boeing Institute. They know that this institute is being hollowed out and repurposed for Boeing, for a weapons corporation. And just to remind you all up there, Boeing is a weapons corporation. Yes. Boeing makes machines that kill. Boeing's oh, business is death. Boeing, this, Boeing's business yeah. is death. It's war. And because its business is weapons, it agitates for war and it starts to make that normal in the university, a normal career for young people to go into the weapons industry. Very normal to have a Boeing Institute in the University of Queensland. Doesn't sound very normal to me. It wasn't for what I went into university for. This was for a very different reason because I actually had an idea that it was about building a better world, and it was about the public good, and it was about critical thinking, and it was about students challenging the taking for granted assumptions and asking questions and talking. It wasn't about making tidy arrangements with a weapons corporation. The so Boeing makes weapons that kill. I'm experiencing that skill. So, when we think of money here, this is not money that's clean. What they're doing is turning this dirt university to build it on dirty money. It's like on gambling, on alcohol. What we find out there 
is that Boeing, it's Boeing is an arms deal. They bring Boeing as an arms deal right into the middle of the university. It's no longer clean. It's not a university that's clean anymore. It's a dirty university. Everyone who works here is impacted by that. Everyone who works here. What we know is that Boeing is an arms dealer. It's uh, selling to Yemen, it's selling to Saudi Arabia, it's selling to Israel, it's selling to Indonesia, it'll sell anywhere. It's selling to the Australian government, it will sell anywhere that it can make a buck to kill as many people as possible. That is its business. That is its business model. What are they doing here in a university building on the Missile? They're making money. They're following that money to the US. They're funneling it into the military industrial complex. That's what's going on. And who are the people that are doing this? Who are the people that know what's going on? It's of course the Boeing CEOs and the management, the admin, the University of Queensland, people in the Senate, sitting tonight in the Senate, people who know about this, people who know what the business of Boeing is, people who know that it's a weapons corporation, and people who are taking advantage of that for money. Boeing is very happy to get to work, launder their reputation, and they're doing the hollowing out, and isn't that wonderful? So all you people out there in the Senate who know what's going on, we came here to remind you to make sure that everybody in the world knows, in the university knows, that Boeing is a weapons corporation. Boeing engineers that. Boeing engineers that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just, uh, I just want you to know that we've occupied the, um, the Senate. So we spoke to all the late, all the late to the room. Um, so we spent about uh, 15 minutes talking to them and uh, mainly talking at them, really. Uh, so, um, they, just so you know, we've just been, we've been uh, escorted down here uh, where we will we meet with you. Or you want with um, Potosonic Missile here? Yep. Everyone done? Yeah. Good work, everyone. Great. Great work. Okay, then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is our hypersonic death machine. Police are known to us and they're just not that concerned that we're a danger to anybody. Christine, you want to tell what happened? <laughs> you were brilliant. You were brilliant.
I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that the commitment that you demonstrated would have left quite a few of them rattled. They did look rattled. The younger maybe, ones look worse than I thought. Yeah, what was saying. saying. Uh, was the older ones were the older ones. Yes. Anyway, they've got to go and eat now, so they make that from their eating, which is yeah. But I hope hopefully cannot deny any longer that Boeing arms genocide. Boeing oh, weapons corporation. That Boeing makes weapons that kill, and that this is not on for an educational institution to support death, destruction, murder, and genocide. Got lots of messages across. Uh, each one with a different. Slightly different so we're here at the oh, Queensland University, that. which has a Boeing Institute. Yeah, We've been to the. Uh, Senate, the, the UQ Senate, which is their council of about 30 people, and we spoke to them, we walked in and spoke to them. Starting with Christine, we all had a go at speaking to them. We reminded them that Boeing is a weapons company, these are some of the weapons that it makes, and just all the stats of the spattering of the weapons it makes. And of course, it arms genocide in Palestine, in West Papua, and um, we know that therefore war crimes start here in this university. That's what we know. Um, and it, the Boeing Institute is a killing institute. Uh, Boeing arms genocide at this university. And what we know about Boeing in Brisbane, just for your information, is Boeing is uh, growing in Brisbane. They've now got two buildings in town. They're at the uh, probably out of the U at the airport at the Defence Science and T Technologies uh, sort of institute out there. They've got an institute here that seems to have somewhere between 30 and 130 people. Um, and yeah, we want you to know that Boeing is not a civilian, it's not, it's civilian business is dead because it had two planes, of course, that dropped out of the sky, the 737s, um, and it's well known that that occurred after they cut corners to try and um, uh, compete in a commercial way, and that may, meant these those two civilian planes that they've lost all credibility as, a, as for safety and of course two thirds or three quarters of their business is uh, military business uh, weapons bombers attack aircraft so we're here at the university today and um, thank you so much for joining us um, we're going to leave it there and uh, we'll you'll hear more from us as we. Uh, point out, we want you to tell everyone Boeing is a weapons company. If you ever see it, don't travel with those uh, companies that uh, have Boeing aircraft. Uh, just say, I'm sorry, I don't use Boeing aircraft. And remember, Boeing is a weapons company. Thanks so much for joining us uh, here at the University of Queensland. And if you're just joining us late, go back to the beginning. And we just big shout out to our friends in West Papua. Um, we know that you are... Uh, you know, that you take heart from what we do and we also are encouraged by your courage. Thank you so much. Wah, 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 to you. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, we love you and we're watching you. And from West Papua to the West Bank, we know that Boeing is killing people um, and we're watching what's going on even to this day, what's happening. Papuan lives matter to us and they should matter to the whole world. And we can see your program for um, goodness and beauty and keeping your forests. Well, well, well. Uh, thank you so much. Bye.